This video shows two killers on their way to kill Fabio Cimentilli. It was January 23rd, 2017, when these two suspects ran towards Fabio's home and stabbed him to death as he sat by the pool. A little while later, this video from a neighbor's surveillance camera captured Fabio's Porsche being driven away by the killers. At first, police thought it could have been a robbery gone wrong, but the safe inside the home hadn't been touched and Fabio's $8,000 Rolex was still on his wrist. The only thing I thought that was unusual is why didn't they take more? Why didn't they take his watch? Nobody except investigators knew it at the time, but police had discovered blood that didn't belong to Fabio at the crime scene. DNA testing had revealed a suspect, Robert Baker. Baker had been a racquetball league director at a Los Angeles gym not far from Fabio's house. It's that same league where Fabio's wife Monica had played. So did Monica's friend at the time, Elise. How would you describe Rob Baker? He was cool. We all really liked him. He was one of those two guys, you know. For months, police watched Baker and they discovered he made thousands of calls and texts to, of all people, Monica Simentilli. In fact, just days after Fabio's death, Monica held a wake in her backyard and Robert Baker actually showed up. You did meet him. I did. Fabio's sister, Morella Rota, says she saw Monica hanging out with Baker. I saw her back outside again the drink, smoking, and talking to this guy. And I found out that that was his name, Rob. And um, she introduced me to him. Luigi, Fabio's son from an earlier marriage, noticed him too. Robert and Monica were in the corner, talking to each other, sort of away from the party. And there was something else Luigi noticed about Baker. He had uh, bandages on his hands. One guest even snapped these pictures of Monica and Robert Baker together. If you look closely, you can just make out a bandage on Baker's finger. Police would later conclude Baker cut that finger when he killed Fabio, and that's how his blood was at the crime scene. Detectives visited Monica at home, using what they called a ruse, telling her they were investigating burglaries in the neighborhood, when in fact, they were investigating her and secretly following Monica and Robert Baker. And according to authorities, it paid off. They say they found evidence that Monica and Baker were having an affair and conspired to kill Fabio. Over the past several months, investigators have developed information and identified Robert Baker, 55 years old of Canoga Park, and Monica Cimentilli, 45 years old of Woodland Hills, who is the wife of our homicide victim, as responsible for his murder. He said, uh, we arrested Monica for the murder of your brother and Robert Baker for the murder of your brother. And I was in shock. I'm like, are you sure? You know, I, I was in shock. As authorities hustled Robert Baker and Monica Cementilli into court, they each pleaded not guilty. But almost six years later, Robert Baker changed everything. When he came to court that day, people were stunned. In 2023, Baker skipped trial altogether and pleaded no contest. Robert Baker pleads no contest, and that's in essence accepting responsibility for the murders. He's ultimately sentenced to life without parole. The maximum sentence in this case is life in prison without the possibility of parole plus one year. You understand this? Yes, sir. But while Baker was accepting responsibility for Fabio's death, Monica wasn't. What he and Monica did to my brother Fabio is unforgivable. But Monica's own daughters, Isabella and Jessica, supported their mom. We will continue to stand by our mother as we have done for the last six years, and we will fight for her innocence. As Monica prepared to go to trial, her defense attorney, Leonard Levine, made a statement. We are confident that Robert Baker's guilty pleas and his truthful testimony will finally establish once and for all that Monica Simantilli had nothing to do with the planning or the murder of Fabio Cimentelli, her husband. Monica Cimentelli is scheduled to go on trial for conspiracy to commit murder in April 2024. 